Having a car may be everyone's dream, getting in a big and fast machine and going wherever you want. Unfortunately, not all cars are as we dream. There are even some cars that you would rather never have. While beauty is in the eye of the beholder, some cars have been widely considered to be the ugliest cars ever made. Their unusual designs and poor performance have made them the butt of many jokes in the automotive world. Let's take a look at the following list of the 10 ugliest cars in the world, you will be surprised. Number 10, Pontiac Aztec. We're not sure what's worse, the Pontiac Aztec's tiny wheels and tires, or the plastic lower body cladding that made the whole mess look like it waded into a kiddie pool. The Pontiac Aztec has been widely considered one of the ugliest cars ever made. With its awkward boxy design and plastic cladding, it was a commercial failure and is often cited as an example of bad car design. Number nine, Tatra 603. This car was made in Czechoslovakia in the 1970s. Although the car did not present any relevant technical problem, its weird shape makes it uncomfortable to look at. It looks like a broken egg. Number eight, Suzuki X90. The Suzuki X90 was a two-seater SUV that had an awkward coupe-like design that made it look like a toy car. Its small size and underpowered engine also made it impractical as an off-road vehicle. We must say that the Suzuki X90 is the ugly duckling in the family. Its odd shape seems to be a bad combination of different designs of cars, just like a badly armed puzzle. Number seven, Smart Fort Woo. Even though this car was built under the idea of a safe system and it was a great challenge to make it that tiny, it is far from being neither an attractive model nor a cute one. Number six, Nissan Cube. What a lack of creativity. Its name is the exact description. It literally looks like a cube. If what the designers wanted was to make a unique car, they did it and not in a good way. The Nissan Cube was designed to be a quirky, boxy car for the youth market, but its unusual shape and asymmetrical windows made it one of the ugliest cars on the road. It was also criticized for its poor fuel economy and lack of power. Number five, Fiat Multipla. Just as Simon Cowell once said, this car seems to have a disease. It really does not look like something created on the earth. Just look at all those bulges, they are everywhere. The Fiat Multipla was designed to be a practical family car, but its unusual shape and bulbous design made it one of the ugliest cars on the road. Its bug-eyed headlights and odd proportions made it look more like a cartoon character than a car. Number four, Nissan S-Cargo. We have again a Nissan, but it was impossible to ignore its trimmed shape. This attempt to a van was produced during the end of the 1980s, but how people were brave enough to buy it. Number three, Bond Bug. Not even close to the secret agent 007, this car looks like a toy. It is true that the original idea was to create a fun car, but instead of fun, I would feel shame. Number two, Subaru Brat. The Subaru Brat, short for Bi-Drive Recreational All-Terrain Transporter. This car was created with the idea of a small truck, but the decisions in regards to its shape, design, and dimensions turned it into a really ugly car. A real waste of time. Number one, Corbin Sparrow. The Corbin Sparrow was initially produced by Corbin Motors and subsequently, after 2005, by Myers Motors. The Corbin Sparrow electrical vehicle is more than worthy of the first place. It looks like a tiny jelly triangle with strange rounded edges. How uncomfortable it may be to drive locked in such a weird car. What do you think now? Did you ever imagine that such horrible things were appearing to be cars? It seems the car industry does not always make the best decisions, at least regarding design and style. Just as these 10 ugly cars, there should be many more around the world. And the key question remains, why do people buy these things? We will never know.